Hello, Internet. I am redoing my uh, Volus uh, solo guy here because I made that three months ago when I was still fairly new to this game and my skills were not that good. They have improved over the months. So, we're going to do this again and show you guys how to do it even better. First of all, I accidentally already started this, but Volus is only at like 95% health or whatever, so that's fine. So when you go in, you're going to come in here, kill the two Legionnaires that spawn there, and you're going to immediately jump up here. Now, this is the tricky part I hear a lot of issues on, is you're not trying to jump over the wall. You want to try and jump between the pipes and the beam ahead. There's like a little um, cross section there, and that's the easiest spot I've found to try and get up here. See? First go. When you're up on top of here, you know you're done right, and then just fall and land on the pipe. Now, when you're up here, you are, for the most part, invulnerable to attacks. There are two spots in here that um, offer you 100% protection. First one is about right here when you're crouching. Even though there's the gap between the two pipes, they can not really hit you, or at least I've never been hit while hiding here. That's on this side. Now on the other side, um, you do need to duck under these. So, But on the other side, right here is the... This is, for me, the most ideal spot in this general little area because of this little guard here. Most enemies aren't there. If they are, they're scions. They do a few shots and then go and hide. So this is perfect. And now you don't need to worry about falling off either. There's invisible walls there, so you cannot run off. Alright, so uh, with Valus up, you can... If you zoom in and you, he's like, you can't see him, just zoom in. His name will show up. Back up. Like, this offers better protection than hiding up on the chandelier, I find, and more range than the crates over there because you can get him pretty much anywhere he goes in the room here and if it's just you and you're up here he will go over here and just stand there at 30 percent and not fire shoot rockets nothing he just kind of looks in the sky so let's uh continue with this to show you guys how doable it is you do need to take care of some of the enemies on this side as uh, mostly just the legionnaires you don't need to, or legionaries, you don't need to um, worry about the scions, they'll just keep trying to uh, arc blast you. Um, again, you're not going to have ammo pickups up here unless you have a gun that has the perk that you shoot any ammo, you pick it up. So for the most point, or for the most part, bring ammo synthesis, otherwise you'll have to wait on ammo or, you know, use an icebreaker. And there's this, like, there's a couple spots, like when he's right here. You, he, I don't think he can really hit you if you stand properly. His rockets cannot hit you. He might be able to get one or two shots off with his machine gun, but outside of that, you're fine. Now, for my guns, I'm using uh, Vision of Confluence because it's turning into my favorite scout rifle. Uh, Icebreaker just for the unlimited ammo. And uh, Hunger of Crota I just got that's not leveled up. Let's get rid of that. And then I'm using Rune Wings, of course, because why not? This. I hear a lot of people thinking that the flags count as a barrier and they're not doing damage to Vols, but you're just not finding them. Like, this is those headshots every time, too. As soon as he goes to the other side of the room, I'll show you guys how to do that side. See, after re-watching my video, I noticed it's kind of um, outdated, so to speak. <laughs> Alright, so he's slowly moving. And the fun thing, too, is you can shoot through this crack here, so... If you find that your screen's rocking too much from all the uh, boomer cabals, you know, just look through it and shoot them. Also, most Cabal, I find, do not come in this general area, for the most part, so you don't really need to worry too much. Okay, so now that he's on this side, um, if he moves into a good spot here, you can actually shoot through this and have it hit him, and he can't shoot you at all. Um, for here, just kind of peek your head through and be careful. His rockets might not come at you, but his machine gun can kind of pierce through. If you take too much damage, just go hide in one of those spots I showed you, crouch, and let your shield get back. There you go. There it is. And unlike
like all the other videos showing you those little guides, or those little hidey holes, I'm not going to cut this off at, you know, or bring it up at 20% and show you guys me soloing it or something. Because for them, I don't think people actually solo that when they do that. I think they have help getting it down and have those people leave, because you never see that, right? Like this, you're seeing everything. I mean, it might be a long little video, but you can fast forward or whatever to actually see me do this. Yeah, see, so you do need to be a bit careful. They can shoot you from there too, but um, it's all about being careful. No spot in this game I've found gives you 100% cover. Yeah, see, science just run back and forth, so... Let's go. If you're on a Warlock, you know, you never really need to worry if you have your super up. If you're on Titan, you know, just go Defender, throw your shield up, and you're golden. Yeah, see, so when he's through here, yeah, you can just easy shots in. You never have to worry about anything from him coming towards you. And of course, he moves and fucks it up. Thanks, boss. Alright, where'd he go? And yeah, if, you're just, if you can't find him, like his name's not showing up. If you zoom through your scope and he's behind something, it will show up. I've never had it not show up. Super easy. So yeah, what, did, what guys? What spot do you guys find is the best? solo spot for this, in your opinion. For me, it's this spot mostly because I discovered it, so that makes it my favorite spot. Um, the chandelier spot, you know, I find you don't get enough cover if he's on the other side of his, the room. The rockets have plenty of time to go up and over. And the crates, you just, you're very limited in where he is and you can attack him. This, you can get full range of the room on him, and you get that weird glitch at 30 or so percent, which I will show you guys. Yeah, see, like, nothing can hit me from over here. No, right after I said that, of course. That's why you have that. Um, also, if you're a hunter, go invisible on one side, go to the other side if you have issues, you know. It's all about placement and being careful and knowing your surroundings. It, that's all it is to it. All there is to it. I would be firing my rockets, but being up here is a very tight spot and I don't have warlock rays, so I'm always a little scared to use rockets up here. Um, I just made this Titan a week ago, so I don't have any proper machine guns yet for him. Just using the Hunger of Crota I got. Also, a super fun raid. I enjoy it. All about safety and like look at all these headshots. Where you go? See, so yeah, it's not a hundred percent. Um, like nine times out of ten, he goes to that spot. He takes his time, but once he's there, uh, don't use any kind of solar or pulse grenade. It'll force him to move and kind of screw it all up. So. I kind of just want to let him get over there. Sometimes he'll shoot, but he'll stop if you're careful. Like, just peek out of... Yeah. No, uh, Well, he did have it. Go back there. What's he doing? Oh. Yeah, if it gets heavy, just go back. Go into the further hiding spot away so he can't get me. Yeah, and since and most enemies can't see you, they'll continue to fire at the last spot. Kind of, you know, seen or wherever you attacked from. Where'd he go? Is he in the spot? Ah, he keeps moving. Super easy. 
super impressed at how many views the last video has, though. I was, uh, I think I'm up to like 8,000 views on it, so uh, it's not bad. Yeah, this is the. This is my favorite spot to hide when Volus is uh, in his little. on the right side of the room here. Oop. Whoa, 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 whoa! That. <laughs> That almost went poor. Wait. These things are really easy. You know, it's just all about perception and knowing what's around you. And not being like a cocky idiot and trying to... Oh, shit. Well, I think in the last video he does do his stand here for, you know, 20 minutes contemplating life. Don't know why he's being an asshole this time. No, he's an Usually doesn't take this long, but we'll be done here quickly. He's almost dead. Oh. Can I not shoot through that? I guess I can't shoot through that. At least where his head is. I honestly do not know what the fuck this Volus is doing. He's just strolling around. Yeah, now he's just chilling over there. Oh, it's still easy to shoot him. Switch to that. There we go. See, if he wants to sit there, you can just shoot him through there. You're not going to get headshots off, but some damage is better than no damage. And if you're hiding in here properly, nothing can hit you, so you never have to worry. Yeah, see, he's just gonna stay there now. Unbelievably easy, unbelievably fun. I enjoy cheesing bosses, it's just... entertaining, and really makes you jump around, you know, try harder, because, again, no spot in this is gonna be 100% perfect. If you can hit them, they can hit you, unless you're at the start of a map or something, and they're 10 miles away. Oh, I've ammo. <laughs> yeah, I killed him. There we go. That's how you, uh, solo Volus uh, version 2.0 with more guide. Remember, when doing this, you want to jump towards this beam here, or you want to slide on the invisible wall and jump, like, have it push you towards the beam. I will end it with one final attempt doing that, just to show you guys again, so jump towards. It is easiest to do this on uh, Warlock or Titan. Um, if you're doing it on Hunter, I recommend Gunslinger but uh, for the triple jump. But yeah, that's my video. Go. video. If you guys like that and got any suggestions on any others, hit me up anytime. Leave a message. Thanks.